This week on Machinery Pete TV, our return to Colo, Iowa for a look at Robert Lee's Magnums. This beautiful 260 with under a thousand hours was nearly a record breaker. Daily Auction Company's Ryan Luke shares his perspective on the market. And Pete brings us an eclectic collection of big ticket items selling online and on the farm. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Well folks, almost 34 years ago when I started down this crazy path of building this machinery peat business, I had to call auctioneers all over the country and introduce myself. There was no internet back then, and I tell you, one of the first auctioneers I got connected with was Bob Daly of Daly Auction Company in Colo, Iowa, and we're in Colo today for the Robert Lee Farm Retirement Sale, and it's going to be a treat to watch Bob and his crew do their thing. But first, we've got to go back to the studio and get the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Worldwide investment in agri-food tech startups has seen a near 50% drop in just the last year. Now, take a look at these charts from Ag Funder. It says investments in agri-food tech startups have hit the lowest point in six years. Now, it says that venture capital investors who invested in alternative protein and vertical farming a few years ago are now fleeing that sector. Ag Funder saying last year investment in the sector represented just 5.5% of venture capital dollars compared to more than 7% back in 2021. Now in terms of categories, farm robotics, mechanization and equipment saw 99 deals worth $760 million. Other bright spots include more funding for food and farming focused on climate and food security. There's also growth and investment in the bioenergy and biomaterials category. Lots of folks buy eggs this time of year to decorate for Easter, but also for holiday cooking and baking. And this year, those eggs are likely going to cost you more than they did a year ago. Now, one reason, the ongoing recovery of the egg laying flock from bird flu. Right now, that flock is about 1% smaller than a year ago. So egg supplies are down, but demand is up, meaning higher prices. And satellite internet company SpaceX announcing it's teaming up with computer and data company Oracle to help improve insights for farmers. On an earnings call, Oracle said it's working with SpaceX to create an AI-powered mapping application for governments. The project would create a map of a country's farms and show what each of them is growing, adding that it could also be used by farmers to increase output by monitoring fertility and water. Now, earlier this year, SpaceX and its internet platform Starlink announced it was partnering with John Deere. And that's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Today, when you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Hey folks, Machinery Pete here. You've got to try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. 
The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. My friends at Matichek Implement in beautiful Faribault, Minnesota have eight tractors selling on their upcoming online dealer auction on Thursday, March 28th. Four quad tracks on the sale, including a pair of 22 model 620 quad tracks with 916 and 1237 hours, both with warranty. If you're looking for a quad track a bit older, they have a 2009 model 485 quad track with 4992 hours and an 09 535 quad track with 4798 hours on the sale. Two road track models on this auction, including this Sharp 22 model 340 road track with 1847 hours of warranty and this 2018 model 380 CVT road track with 2920 hours. Also a pair of 22 model Magnum 340s with 1053 and 1564 hours and a warranty selling on this auction. As always with Matichek Implement online auctions, no reserves, no buyer fees and no loading fees. For info and bidding, go to matichek.com and click on the inventory tab, then auctions and clearance. Well, folks, the last 15 Brent 744 Gravity Wagons I've seen sold at auction, average sale price, $14,913. Included in that bunch was an all-time record high at $19,950. That was actually on an auction we filmed for Machinery PTV in Walnut, Illinois. 16 one 16-1, 16-1, 16-1. 15-5-1-9-3. Hey folks, Real Treat here. I'm with Nick Luke. Now, Nick, you're 19. Yep. And you are a busy dude. <laughs> I mean, you, you're actually, you've been working with Daily Auction Company. You were young, like just like your dad, starting f about 14 years old yep. here. What were the first things you would help with here with the auction when you were 14? Same thing my dad did. I was, I was in here every day, washing equipment. I mean, combines, tractors, wheel loaders, backhoes, anything. That's, he just had me polishing and washing and yep. cleaning everything up. Very cool. And now with the auction here, uh, Robert, you actually farm with Robert. And I understand, I heard a story that you started driving the grain cart, uh, you were like seven? Yep. And what, you remember what tractor that was? I think it was a four wheel drive actually. Seven years old. Yeah, four wheel drive tractor driving on the, standing up on the floor. <laughs> And barely reaching the clutch pedals. And, and you were just like, bring it, let's go. Yep. And now, how are you feeling here coming up to the Roberts auction? So you've run this equipment. Uh, what are your feelings here? You know, to be honest, it, it's kind of sad to see it go. It's, it's a lot of sentimental value. Yeah. I've ran a lot of that equipment. And yeah. spent a lot of hours behind the wheel, just like my grandpa and my dad have. So yeah. I really just enjoy right now working around here and helping set up with auctions and even still cleaning equipment, that, that, that brings joy to me, you know, so. Well, folks, the last 18 months, I've seen 55 Brent 644 Gravity Wagons sold at auction. Average sale price, 12908 bucks. The highest I've seen is 16 and a quarter, which is actually tied for the all-time record high price at auction on a 644. 
that sold on today's sale. 1800 John Deere Tractor Lovers check out the Plendel Brothers Classics online collector auction Thursday March 28th in Kingsley Iowa sale by Paulson Auctions 10 immaculate 55 series tractors with low hours and exceptional condition with new tires. John Deere 4055 mechanical front wheel drive, 4255 two wheel drive, then matching sets of two wheel drive mechanical front wheel drive 4455s, 4555s, 4755s, and 4955s. For info and bidding, go to paulsonauction.com. Howdy folks, John Hengel with Purple Wave Auctions, territory manager in Minnesota. We're on site at T.A. Shifsky & Sons. We'd like to tell you about an auction coming up April 17th. There's gonna be hundreds of items. We're gonna have three open inspection dates, April 6th, April 10th, and April 13th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. You're welcome to come out, walk through the equipment. You can visit all the items online at purplewave.com. At LST Group, we are committed to providing exceptional service across all modes of transportation. If you're shipping machinery across the state or across the country, trust LST Group to handle it with precision and care. Our expanded network ensures your shipments will reach their destinations swiftly and securely. Discover the LST Group difference and experience the epitome of excellence in transportation services. To request a quote, call 844-622-6209. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Ag Innovations, a company with a 20 year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machinery Pete's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, I'm here with Ryan Luke, co-owner of Daily Auction Company here in Colo, beautiful Colo, Iowa. Yeah. Um, and you grew up right here, Yep. Ryan? Yep, I okay. did. Now you, you've been at this a long time. What, what's your take on the current used farm equipment market here as we, we're talking mid-2023? Uh, all over the place. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it, it seems things were very high here the last couple of years. It seems 
a lot of things have kind of leveled out, maybe coming down, but there's still, every once in a while you get surprised, you know. Anything in particular that you guys have noticed that attracts, um, well, kind of the equipment on this particular auction. Yes. Is the kind of, yep. a little bit of age, super nice condition. Yep. Kind um, of in the sweet spot, isn't it? Yep. Uh, the big thing is low hours, and then also if you can get low hours with the pre-emissions, pre-electronics. That's kind of a of winning stuff. ticket, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep. Awesome. Anything that uh, areas you guys are seeing developing kind of challenges or softening or? Um, no, not really. We've uh, we still have the supply issue starting to get better. Yes. On the new and used side, but that was really a, a huge issue, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, there for a while, it, you kind of didn't, couldn't be real picky on quality. I mean, if you wanted to fill the lot, you just kind of had to get what you could and yep. you sold what, you know, what it was. Yep. Um, Did you guys find your buying pool expanded geographically through the, through this tightness the last couple of years? Um, buying, not really. We stick pretty close to Iowa. Okay. Um, How about from the flip side, your buyers? Were yes. they coming from a wider area? Yes, all over. Okay, and yep. they respect the quality of used equipment here in Central Iowa, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Yep, they do. Okay. Yeah, we're we're starting to get into more uh, emails of foreign not being able to understand, you know, the language, and but uh, it's a different world we live in now, isn't it? It is. Hey, folks, Machinery Pete here with Kyle Berry with Deer and Kyle. What is your title again now? Yeah, I'm the manager of Precision Upgrades Marketing. Precision Upgrades, well, hey, I mean, gosh, that's right in the sweet spot. Tell us what's new with Precision Upgrades, Kyle. Yeah, so we have a new offering from Deer uh, with Precision Upgrades, and you'll see it right here behind me. Uh, we've taken three core components, really the foundation of your uh, Precision Ag journey, yep. um, the G5 Plus display, an Ember and R-Series modem, and the Starfire 7000 receiver. Okay. And the customer can buy that for an upfront cost of $2,000. $2,000, bucks. well, uh, things are a little tighter these days, but gosh, 2000 bucks, getting a lot of bang for your buck there. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's really just a new option for customers uh, to buy something at a lower upfront cost, mm. and then they pay for what they need. So we have two licensing options on this um, okay. kit itself. You can get a basic license, which includes auto track, section control, and row sense. Okay. Uh, or if you need some more uh, autonomous type um, options, you can move up to our advanced package. And then that advanced package, you get auto track turn automation, which is your automated headland turns. You get auto path, where we actually map the where the plants are in the ground, where okay. the planter went. Um, or you can get uh, auto track implement guidance, and that's the ability for the tractor to steer off the guidance line, okay. uh, for the planter to stay on that guidance line. Machine sync is another one. Uh, mm -hmm. Machine sync is more for a combine operation where you're unloading on the go, the combine operator can actually yep. uh, control the, the tractor forwards and backwards or side to side to yep. make sure that they get that grain cart full, okay. fully loaded before sending it uh, to the trucks. Um, and then we also include SFRTK, which is our latest uh, satellite correction signal okay. um, on that Starfire 7000 receiver. Sounds like one heck of a upgrade there. I mean, for 2000 bucks, we know that not every customer is gonna buy new machinery. So we wanna give them the ability to get the most out of what they do have. Um, and with this package, it absolutely gives them the ability to do that. Today, when you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Wilson National in Hillsboro, Ohio is holding a live virtual online consignment auction on Wednesday, March 27th. Featured items include a 22 John Deere 8R340 with just 157 hours, a 2018 John Deere 4044R with loader and 218 hours, and a 2018 John Deere S760 combine with 833 SEP hours. Also, Massey Ferguson 8650 with 2433 hours, a Gleaner R75 combine, and a 2018 John Deere 8245R with 718 hours. Info and bidding at willnat.com. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain and stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. 
Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hey folks, I'm here with Robert Lee, owner of this beautiful uh, tractor, our feature item on the show today, the auction, this Magnum 260, only 944 hours on it. Robert, are you the original owner, second owner? I'm a second owner. It's been a real good tractor for me. It's, it's kind of my favorite between the 335 and the 260. I don't know why, but... Now you even went so far as to tell me this was your all-time favorite tractor. It is, it is. Even though it's got DEF? Tier four. Yep, it, it still is. It still you know. is. That's awesome. Uh, what have you used it for on the farm? I used it for uh, planting and hauling corn to the bin. Well, the buyer on this tractor, wherever they're from, they're going to be going home happy to get this rig. They will be. That's my yep. Opinion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it that I know of, and you know, it just it's bulletproof. Well, folks, one month ago on an online auction in Compton, Illinois, we saw a 2011 Case H Magnum 260. 694 hours, so for 155250 bucks, that was the fourth highest auction price ever. Our feature item on the show today is a Magnum 260 with 944 hours on it. 165,860,000, Well, folks, it was back in mid-August 2013. I saw a Magnum 260 sell for 165,000 bucks on an auction at Fisher, Iowa. And today, our feature item, the Magnum 260, 944 hours, ties the all-time record high price, 165. Well, folks, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Part of the big fun of this gig for 34 years now is I never know what I'm gonna see every day sold at auction. And recently, a pair of auctions, two days in a row, uh, it was trucks and a unique sign that kind of caught my attention. So let's go back Friday evening, September 15th in Chester, Virginia, an online auction for More Sign Corporation by my good friends, Rich and Rich Auctioneers. And here's a picture of auctioneer Richard Vaughn standing next to this totally cool five foot tall, double-sided, original neon Chevy truck sign. Now we posted a promo of this item on our Machine Repeat Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I suspected it was gonna be a hot seller, but folks, this thing sold for 99,500 bucks, scraping 100K for this thing. That has to be, I think, the most amazing neon sign I've ever seen sold. And oh, by the way, the same auction, also had this Oldsmobile neon sign, very cool, that sold for 17,500 bucks. So that was Friday evening, the 15th of September. The next day, Saturday the 16th, my good friend John Carlson with Carlson Auction Company had a little farm sale up in Cambridge, Minnesota, where a pickup stole the show, this 1993 Dodge Ram 250 LE Cummins turbo diesel one owner, only 39,631 miles on it, and same deal here. We did a little preview post of this auction and this truck on Machine Repeat social media, and I could, I could just tell it was gonna be red hot. The hammer price on it was 39,000 bucks, so when you tack on the 5% buyer's fee, it was 
40,950 bucks for a 30 year old pickup. Pretty cool stuff. Well, you Red fans out there, I hope you enjoyed our visit today to Colo, Iowa for the retirement sale for Robert Lee. Always fun to watch my great friends at uh, Daily Auction Company do their thing. And I tell you, it's not just pre-def tractors that are selling hot. The Magnum 260, 944 hours at 165, tied the highest all-time auction price. We'll see you back here next week, folks, on Machinery Repeat TV. Machinery Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone.